it's actually happening. I guess we talk about this internally as the, the beginning of the end of waste. This is the only shoe I know that you can put in a grinding machine and then you get the chance to be able to apply it back into another shoe. We're putting ourselves out there, we're being vulnerable. We don't have all the answers, but we can't wait for all the answers to unveil themselves. This could be the most disruptive product in the world and everything should be built like this in the future. If we get off of plastic waste, then we win, we all win. Hey people, it's Manvi Miles here and I'm super excited today because I've got in my hands a shoe that is super, super rare and I also think is pretty groundbreaking for the industry and running as a whole and what it means for, for sports and our impact on the planet. Now, we all know that really running, although when you're doing it, can be quite environmentally friendly. You're out of the car, you know, you're not burning carbon, you're not sticking emissions into the atmosphere. You're helping save the planet if you're a run commuter. But the other side of that is that we are quite a resource intensive bunch buying new kit, new shoes. There's a whole lot of paraphernalia that comes around the world of running, which isn't particularly green, isn't particularly eco sound. And these shoes, I think, might have found the answer. Now I'm going to go into why. Let me tell you what these shoes are. These are the Adidas Futurecraft Loop. And they are very, very special shoes indeed. Let me tell you why, using an old shoe. So, if you look at something like this, and I'm not picking on Hoka specifically, this is just an example of a shoe, um, a traditional running shoe. It's made of many different parts. There's, there's often a plate, there's often there's, there's, there's different bits of the sole that are fused together often with glue. There's the upper, which is also often fused together with glue. And that glue and those other parts often are very, very difficult to break down and recycle. And that means that most shoes will end up either in an incinerator or in landfill. And that is a problem for the planet particularly when you think about, you know, the average pair of shoes, what lasts, what people tell you, you to update your shoes every 300 miles or so. And so, you know, the turnover of shoes in our world is quite high and that is a problem. Step this way, the Futurecraft Loop. Now, this is the world's first ever shoe that is made from entirely recyclable materials. It is 100% manufactured from one material and that is TPU and that is a form of plastic and what Adidas and the clever people at the labs over there in Herzog have worked out how to do is to take TPU, one material, and turn it into many, many different forms. And that makes up and constitutes the entire shoe. And they've also managed to work out how to clean fuse the uppers to the sole. So there's no glue involved. Now glue, if you talk to people about uh, recycling glue is one of, the, one of the biggest problems. It means that once you've got something on glue, it's incredibly difficult to get off of, of, of other parts of the shoe and that means they are basically straight into landfill or they need to be burnt it means the material they're attached to is no good to anyone clean fused so there's no glue here now let's take a little closer look what's really clever is that you can see up close you've got a yarn upper and then on the side you've got different sort of firmer plastics you've got a firmer plastic heel counter here it's a little bit more flaccid than some some heel counters You've still got that kind of well-known sort of traditional sort of famous uh, boost foam that you'll find in others Adidas standard shoes and there's a good chunk of it. Underneath on the soles, you have more TPU here and that's been made into an outsole that, you know, it's nice and grippy. You've still got the torsion bar, which helps with propulsion and energy return. I have to confess, I'm not sure about the laces. They might not be, but these feel like uh, these feel like normal kind of fabric laces, which are recyclable anyway. Um, but the tips, totally. That's a TPU tip as well. So even that, down to that level of detail. Even on the tongues, you've got TPU here where you've got the logo. And as you can see, these are 100% recyclable. That, for me, is amazing. I know the next question you're going to ask, okay, well, you can... You can turn these into brand new shoes when you finish with them but how do they run when you're actually using them i've popped these on and that's the best news of all about this actually they feel pretty much like a standard shoe you know there's not gimmick here you can run in these and they feel pretty comfortable those uppers they're not quite as comfortable you know they're not as comfortable as a fly knit or a prime knit or something like that that's for sure 
there is a little bit more kind of firmness to them and they're a little bit more um they're a little bit more rigid so yeah they're not as welcoming as you might get from a standard shoe but they're not uncomfortable they are pretty comfortable to wear and actually you know there's a there's a few benefits to that kind of um I guess that structure that, that is built into the to the, the weave TPU that you get here, which is that actually on the on the outside on the sorry on the on the on the upper, on the, the lateral and the medial side, you actually get a bit more support. Um, there's a bit more stability provided there. That's all that's reinforced by these kind of sort of slightly firmer, um, you know, it's built in firmer bits of plastic that are built in cleverly into the design where you've got the, the classic three stripes, and the same happens here around the heel where you've got the, the counters. Um, you know, the other interesting thing is if you look here at how thin they've managed to get this plastic up around the heel collar, it actually looks a little bit more, or not unlike, that TPE sort of weave that you get on the next percent. So when are you going to be able to get hold of a pair of these? Well, that's the downside. These are still very much really, they're not a concept, but they're going to become available on a limited run sometime, I think, in the latter part of 2020. But, you know, there's, there's, so much, there's so much kind of responsibility on shoe manufacturers to get out there and produce products that are environmentally friendly, that are doing their bit, that I think that, the, you know, there'll be a demand for this. And I think that there'll be some refinements of these shoes for sure. But you can expect to start seeing shoes like this appearing not just in running but across other ranges very soon because actually on the run this technology is not very far away from being a really really good run so well played adidas um, thanks for letting me have a play with these and yeah if you have any questions about them about how they run hit me up in the comments have any comments about what other brands are doing eco-friendly wise or things that you're concerned about likewise Tell me something below. Don't forget to hit subscribe up there somewhere around on the channel and ring that bell to get more updates around shoes, running technology, gear, performance, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but from Ambi Miles, over and out. Cheers, guys.